Are you ready? Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. Team news, first of all. Any new issues? Anyone coming back? No, no. I think uh, uh, we played here two, three days ago, so at the end it's going to be mostly the, the same players. Uh, everything, everyone finished quite well the other day, so I think everyone will be... We still have one training today, but I hope nothing strange happens and everyone is again ready to, to be with us. Dominic Solanke, OK, with this knee that he's managing? Yes, he finished, I think he finished better in the game than uh, the previous one against Barley. So I expect him to be to be ready, to be available. And uh, I think it has been a, a good recovery after after Sheffield United. The situation that he's managing, does it ideally need a break? So, for example, he's been linked with an England call-up, of course. Would it be more useful if he didn't go to that? I... Uh, we, no, we don't know. We don't know because uh, without any big difference, now he's feeling better this week that he was the week before, and there are things that uh, sometimes you don't know why why they improve, they get worse. Uh, I think uh, he's not being affected by the by the injury performance-wise. You know, for sure he feels pain sometimes, but I hope. Uh, he can, if he has the chance to be called uh, by the national team, I would prefer uh, uh, he, he takes the chance and he plays for, for England, definitely. Yes, just finally on that, you, you think it is something that could be managed over time, that he will just recover through it, just needs time, but the playing isn't adding any further issue to it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. There are a lot of things uh, that happen to football players. Normally, you don't play 100%. But there are <laughs> very few games during a season that you don't have any small issue. And I think players are used to play through these things. And uh, there are, there have been lately, last couple of weeks, two weeks, where he has felt it worse. But uh, I think now he's feeling better, and I don't expect him to lose any. Any, I hope he doesn't lose any game and any more trainings with this. Um, just a few days on from the Sheffield United result, then you said it wasn't a, a good result. Um, it has been a difficult few weeks. What's the difference now? compared to that incredible run you were on in the lead up to Christmas and around the festive period? Uh, we come from, it's true that uh, we wanted to win both games, but we come from one win against Barley, one tie the other day against Sheffield United, against Sheffield. I think a lot of things didn't go in our di direction. I think we had probably one of the games, or probably the game with more chances we've had this season. We scored two goals, I think we should have scored more. And uh, the problem was we considered two without really having so many clear chances against. No, at the end, we were not effective. It's true that in, against Barley, for example, we probably didn't deserve the three points. We got them. Football is something like is sometimes like like this. No, I have to give give you the more chances to get the result. Uh, I think we did the other day. We didn't take them. And uh, now we, we we have to prepare for 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 uh, uh, Luton's game, no. But uh, at the end, it's not like uh, we played much better Newcastle City the games before. We got just one point. At the end, is balancing a little bit. Normally, if you play better, you have more chances. You have more chances to win. But sometimes it doesn't happen like this. And tomorrow's game, it'll bring all sorts of emotions. The key thing is, of course, that Tom Lockyer is OK, the device fitted. We don't know whether he can play again yet, but now he says he feels almost indestructible because of uh, the surgery that he's had. And it's going to be a unique match, though. How do you approach it? Yeah, at the end, what, as you said, no, the most important thing, he feels much better. Uh, he has recovered well. Uh, I don't know if he will come or not, but it would be amazing if he comes and we can... We can uh, see him, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to know that uh, he's, he's doing well, yeah. I, I know he said that he wants to be here, he said that in the last week or so. He's just become a dad. He's gone through a whole <laughs> roller coaster of emotions this past few months, hasn't he? Um, I think he wants to say thank you, and, and everyone that was involved that day as well, the ticket holders that were there that day, obviously our first refusal tomorrow as well, they want to show their support for him too? For sure, I'm, 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 I'm sure. Uh, our supporters, uh, I think since the first second after what happened, they were uh, supporting him, they were 
uh, trying to help in in the way each one could help and uh, everyone is happy that uh, he's uh, feeling much 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 better and uh, uh, i think is the, the the most important thing you know after what happened from the next second everyone was uh, had very clear that the only thing that mattered was him to to recover yeah football can be tribal but it wasn't that day um just finally for me could the atmosphere be a bit strange at kickoff could it take a while for the match sort of settle into something like a normal atmosphere because of all the emotions that would be going on before it uh, probably you should ask the players no more but i think i've been a player and when the the referee whistles the start of the game you focus because you have difficult things normally to do you think in the thing in the football staff the opponent you have how you can yeah, you can uh, what you can do whenever you receive the next ball, and I think players will be focused on the on the football side because they they are used to it. I think. Hi, it's been a few months since that game uh, back in December. How have you processed what happened that day? I think uh, everyone answered really well to the to the incident especially obviously the, the 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 medical staff that they were amazing and everyone that was in the stadium players supporters i think uh, everyone realized quite early that uh, it was uh, quite a quite a a big thing and uh, the, the 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 only important thing uh, was how how he he could recover and i think even the ref everyone uh, did what uh, what we had to do. As mentioned, he became a father for the first time the other day. That must have been an incredible moment for him and his family. Yes, for sure, for sure. After uh, what happened, uh, it's always very, very important and change your life. No, whenever you are a, a father, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. No, he will be busy now. First weeks for sure. As, uh, you are always busy when you have a, a, a new baby. But uh, it's, it's good to have this this kind of uh, good news. No? And just finally on on, on that, um, since obviously he's been able to give interviews and go on social media and stuff, he's talked about the importance of people learning CPR and how important that was that day for the you know for the professionals here on site. Uh, is that a message that you would like to repeat? Yeah, I think it's something that. Uh, Everyone, you know, we should receive. No, uh, we do it normally in the football clubs. I think it's something that uh, even in the schools, in the universities, in uh, I don't know if it's done everywhere, but it should be done because it it can save a life. No, and it's uh, it's just uh, spend one hour, two hours, whatever it takes to have the chance to to save a life. I think it's it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, after this game, you've got a 17 day break. So, what's the what's the plan for that? No, we train we train after the game the next uh, morning. So we do the recovery process as, as well as we can. Uh, thing is, we don't know exactly the number of players we will have because uh, other national team breaks. We've had kind of half of the squad, no more. So uh, we will have probably healthy nine, ten players, no more. And uh, uh, keep training because we have to keep the fitness level uh, really high to the for the for the last part of the season. That is always the the most important. Tango Wuchara made a real difference at, at the weekend. It's his first goal, first assist of, of the season. Have you noticed a change in his behaviour, his demeanour since? No, Dango has been, uh, I think, uh, doing well. Not because he scored the other day, he has been, okay, he scores and maybe he uh, takes more recognition, but uh, he was playing very good uh, minutes, especially second halves. Uh, lately, he hasn't started so many games, probably after the, the injury he had in the ankle and the African Cup, but uh, he has been performing well, I think, and, 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 and he's good. He can also add some set pieces goals and I think he has this this threat yeah and just finally Luton are still in a big relegation fight at the moment how do you analyze them and their performances in the last few weeks I think Luton and uh, almost all the teams we are in a battle I think we all the teams we need the points and it's important the the 
the, the later you play, the more important the points are because the, you don't have so many chances after, no? And uh, it's a team that I think they've changed a little bit since the last time we played them here. They are uh, being more, much more aggressive in the press. They are keeping more possession. They are building from the back very well. They have very good midfielders, very good midfielders quality, and then they have a lot of pace. They have a lot of pace because they have uh, dangerous, dangerous players uh, to attack the spaces. They cross a lot. There's always they are always a threat in set pieces. We could see it when we face them. They score the first corners they had. So we have to prepare for. I think for a very different game than uh, the one we played the other day against Sheffield United. Afternoon, Andoni. Um, this is the first Premier League game that Bournemouth and Luton will ever have played. They've played each other in all four divisions after this game. Now, I don't know if you know that 15 years ago they were the bottom two teams in League Two. Do you think that that journey is ever going to be able to happen again? It's a difficult one, eh? Because it's difficult. Uh, Fifteen years later, after being the last two in the league, two both teams have the chance to face each other in the Premier League. Probably are the two smallest stadiums, probably in the in the Premier League, uh, and uh, also with uh, how the other game went and uh, with uh, Tom Lockyer's incident, I think. There has been and it will continue to be a quite a relationship between the clubs, between the players, between the even the coaches, the because of these things sometimes uh, make you feel more more together and leave football one side and uh, definitely I hope them and wish them the best, but I need <laughs> and we need to beat them tomorrow and we will fight because we need the we need the, the points and I'm sure they will do the same.